Hi guys and welcome back to Victoria's Creations. So today what we're going to talk about is I want to show you how to do color changes in a graph GAN. And the graph GAN that I am working on right now is the home is where you are pattern and you can get that for free on my um, blog victoriescreations.com. So I want to show you just how easy it is to change colors. So we're going to start at the very beginning. Take my bobbins off. And in my pattern, the row I'm doing now is looks exactly like the row that I just did. Now, the pattern I'm doing that I've created, it gives you two different options. The first option is you can crochet your flowers and your hearts right into the border, or you can do a cross stitch into it after it's completely done. And I'm choosing to do the cross stitch into it after I'm completely done. And don't mind my tails, I gotta weave them in later. So I'm at the end, so before I go any further, I want to chain one and then turn my work. You always want to chain one and turn your work. All right, now we're gonna do two single crochets. So there's one and two now when i get to here my next one is a different color so i'm not gonna do a whole single crochet i'm gonna stop with the two loops the reason why we do this is it just makes the new color change look so much better and i'm going to show you so i always hold my old color with the back of my hand onto there so it doesn't move as much. Grab the new color and pull that through. Now you've got the completed single crochet and you're working seamlessly into the next stitch. So you're going to single crochet across until you get to the next one. Got to adjust my work here. Sometimes the bobbin's getting a little bit of the way, but I really do like the clothespins as bobbins. They hold very well, and then you can take the yarn and put it into the um, the lip. I'm going to get to the end, and then I'll meet you there. All right, as you can see, I'm almost to the next color change. So I do my single crochet, but I don't follow through. I just leave it with the two loops. I always wrap my yarn back up. And this is what I mean by you can put them in there and then it's not going anywhere. So if you're if you drop it like I've done a few times, come off my table, it's not going to come unraveled. I've had that happen. It's very annoying. So you're going to take your new yarn and you're going to pull through those two. That gives you your completed, I'll show you, gives you your completed stitch here and then your new stitch there. So we're at our next color change and we're going to do the same thing and I like to Hold my yarn in the back like I said. I'm going to yarn over and you're going to pull through those two and that gives you your completed stitch and the next stitch is whole. And I want to show you why we do this. Why we do it this way. Let's say I, I went, I didn't do it that way and I just did the whole. Okay. Now you're going to pull this up. Sorry about that, guys. And then you're going to pull this one through. And now you've got the blue is coming over. And then you've got this big old gap here. 
mean, you can pull it tight, but you don't have that. It's like it's going over, and you don't want that. You want that uniform look. Might as well just, there we go, just to there. The beauty about doing the graph gains is as you get further along with your graph gains, you will see that the picture starts becoming more and more clear. I've got most of the house and about a little over half of the heart done. And it'll be a little bit, but I will be getting into the words here shortly. After I put the roof on the house. Now if perchance we had to start your next color here you would do the same thing you would just stop here you would pick up the next stitch i want to show you this real quick now if you notice you've got that long line right there that's okay go underneath it and then go into the next stitch and that kind of brings it to that makes it uniform and it gives it that next v-shape look kind of gives it a nice uniform look but this one we have to do it the same stitch same stitches so you'll go all the way to the end and this pattern is really nice because it's harder to get get your stitches lost with this pattern. And I like that because sometimes we lose our stitch count. And then we have to frog it, which means take it all apart. Or take it apart until the error, until you find the error. And I've had to do that a time or two. And sometimes you just need to pull on the back to tug that stitch up a little bit. I don't have to do that too often, but sometimes I do. And when you get to a point, let's say you're stopping, wrap your yarn, and I pull it through and lock it inside there. And that's the beauty. Another beauty of, because it's not going anywhere. You're not going to lose that stitch. And that is how easy it is to do a color change. Thank you for watching.